gentlemen, welcome to the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. This is the, uh, the, get over here. This is the VW Nut 1967 garage you guys are on. The roof rack of my 67 Bug Ruby. Um, I will talk to you guys about what's going to happen while you watch my uh, Pitbull Chewasaurus or Nyla Bone. Uh, we got to block her in the weight. What did I say? Get over there. Get. Alright, so what I'm working on now is the last video of Brian's that went up was of the prototype skateboard holder for my roof rack. After lots of thought and even a couple of your suggestions in the comments, thank you for those of you that had suggestions. Um, and all of you who watch and comment and subscribe and, and those things, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll set one of these on there so we can see it together. Let me reset you guys. All right, so you can see this is how we normally carry a skateboard on here. That's version one. Prototype 1 and prototype 2 is going to look a little bit different. I am going to use this flat stock right here. Make sure you guys are looking at the flat stock and make it a little more lower profile. But I'm actually going to use a couple pieces of flat stock. Let me bring another one over there for you. And back here where the two meet. I don't know whether I'll span two or three. Uh, we're just gonna make, we're gonna make a sandwich with some nuts and bolts. Probably some wing nuts would be my guess. Nice and easy to get on and off anyway with the flat stock. And uh, instead of using the big clamp, a little lower profile uh, sandwich with this flat stock. And that should be enough to hold the skateboard uh, where it needs to be. So. I'm going to start by taking some measurements of what I want. Uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this one first to match that length and shape. Then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to make two of them. So let me get you guys set up where I can get some work done. I think I got to do a little cleaning first. Alright, so I got a couple of those two of those pieces of flat stock laid up there. Take a sip of coffee here. So I can talk. Locate my tip measure, tip measure. pieces of flat stock right there we're just gonna measure about not about um, go ahead at near an inch we're just gonna make them yellow so that we have a place to bend then I'm going to take the scribe and we're gonna get a little more technical with where we're marking these at an inch so that when I go bend the scribe out of them in the vise at least they're roughly the same move you guys over by the vise
So I'm just lining it up with the uh, bottom of my socket and then the bottom of my socket with the top of the vise. Okay, I'm going to set this on the car, bring you guys over there with me. Alright, so you can see our bend up here is where it's going to cradle the skateboard. Um, go ahead and just kind of eyeball in the prototype version 1. Um, I think I want to go ahead and get the scribe and I want to make a mark about here because I think that's where I'm going to make our next bend is right there. Yep. All right, we'll uh, we'll make that bend a couple of times and bring her over here and see how it looks. This is already a much cleaner design. I did bend it too much. We're gonna have to snap her back a little bit the first time. I would have rather gone too far than to have to go um, the other way, I guess. Um, already. Already I'm much happier with this design than the last one. Alright, so it's sitting a little lower than the previous one. I may like that more. So I'm going to make the second one right now and try and match this one. And we're going to see how I like that. I can always take a little bit out of that bend right there, but I'm thinking I like this. This is better already, I think. All right, so we're looking at that first bend right there. I'll bring over this piece right here as soon as I find my scribe wherever I put it. Can't be far. Got it. All right, so we're looking at that first, that first bend right there. I'd say the two of those are a pretty good match. I may put a little bit more on the front of that first one. Nice. We'll go bend that. I'll bring you guys back and we'll probably bend it too far and have to do her twice. So the one that's lower, I think I'm just going to flatten that one out just a little bit. I think those two are pretty close to exact for how we're doing it. So I'm going to mark them back here, cut them to span, probably ought to span those back too, a little bit extra, and bolt it on either side of those two to hold it. That's what we're going to do. I'll bring you guys and show you. So, I'm going to cut it about here. These are where I want them. I'm going to cut it about here. 
and then I'm going to bolt it this side of the rack and this side of the rack so it doesn't move one way or the other. Um, what do you say we take this skateboard off of there and put a skateboard on there and see if we like the way it looks. Alright, so I like version 2 already lots better. One thing I'm going to change immediately is we're going to cut these down shorter. Uh, they don't need to be that tall. Um, I like the way it lays. I like how it looks like it's floating there still. I like the lower profile nature of this on my rack. Um, so we're going to get started on doing some of those things. The angle is perfect. Love it. Alright, see so you. Where do we go from here? Uh, we'll set you guys right here. I don't think this is going to take a whole terrible long amount of time for me to execute as long as I can find everything. We are looking at both of these. I just want to make sure that both of the wheels are touching. Yeah, that should be a-okay right there. I'm gonna go get my scribe. So with that front wheel touching and this right on Put this one right on the inside. Right on the inside of that rack with the wheel touching. This is the front edge of that pipe right there uh, and this is the back edge uh, excellent and the same thing over here with the wheel touching everything lined up nice and straight we would say that this is the front edge of that bar and that this is the back edge of that bar excellent skateboard off before we hurt something. Unhook the bungier carefully. Set the scrag down where we'll lose it because that'll be fun later. Uh, cut off wheel is on the grinder. That is handy. Um, I'll get you guys set up over here where you can see some more fabricating happening. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a couple inches of overhang, three, four, past the pipe. Let's go an inch and a half. We don't need to get too crazy. Inch and a half. That's where we want to cut it. Let me go grab that. Okay, that's where we'll go cut those. You know, they'll be, um, I bet you I could get you guys zoomed in over there after I get, probably cut them both at the same time, wouldn't hurt too much. You guys wanna throw the switch?
Probably time to change that blade. Well, you can hear the rain outside in patina quit, but we drilled a couple of holes. Now I'm going to take this other piece of flat stock right here, and lay it out kind of how I want it. I want it just a oh, that's still hot. Be careful, that's still hot, just in case you wanted to know. I feel like, I don't know what that measurement is, but I like the way that looks right there. We'll go put that in the saw. Well, I got a cutoff wheel handy, I'll probably just use that. Probably just use the cutoff wheel once I check that measurement and make sure it's an even number, not something crazy and ridiculous. Have a sip of coffee, find the tape measure. Oh, found it. We will say that measurement is 10 and a half inches. I can live with that. Alright, so I'm going to mark those two holes, then I'm going to drill those two holes. We're going to do that twice. I'm going to cut another one at ten and a half inches. And, uh, proceed. What did I say while I'm thinking about it? Ten and a half inches? Perfect. Prototype version 2. We may have to start mass producing these for the skateboarders and Volkswagen drivers of the world. There's probably a couple dozen of us. Make this one one and one. And wherever I put the other one, right here. And make this one two and two. Just so they're the same. If you're follow if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Head over right over there to the drill press. Zoom you guys in on the drill press. Right about there. Can you drill it? Alright, so we were able to get it clamped on there. I gotta run out to the parts store and get some hardware. No big deal. Um, so we'll do that right now. And uh, I will see you guys in just a second when I return. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this uh, 64.
Faces come and faces go There's people here you never know All I want to do today Is sit a while and play Understand we're not the same But deep inside the truth remains All I want to be is me Sit and let your mind be free I'm sorry that your life is tough It looks as though you've had enough Wish the world would let you be Sit and talk a while with me Try my best to lend a hand Guide you through this bumpy land Can you see the things I do Are all because of you Don't close your eyes too tight It's gonna be alright I wipe away your tears, help you conquer all your fears. From the darkness comes the light, let me hold you close and tight. I wish away the pain, but the truth will still remain. Had my share of ups and downs I've met the jokers and the clowns Made my way to hell and back I'm not a stranger you attack What don't kill you makes you strong So find a place where you belong It's time to settle in your soul Before we all grow old truth remains I'm sick of people playing games just be true and say it straight and scrape the bullshit from your plate stop wasting time cause that's a sin if you don't know where to begin I'm always here to lend a hand help you try to understand Don't close your eyes too tight It's gonna be alright I wipe away your tears Help you conquer all your fears From the darkness comes a light Let me hold you close and tight I wish away the pain But the truth will still remain The truth will still remain Truth will still remain. The truth will still remain. Faces come and faces go. There's people here you'll never know. All I want to do today is sit a while and play. All right, we're back. All right, so as you've seen, we made it back from the hardware store. We went with uh, brass nut and brass wing nut. And the pressure, you may think that this bend is in the wrong way, but that's actually by design to help keep the pressure on the hardware so that it stays tight while driving down the road. It also um, brings the skateboard right where I want it. Um, I'm going to set these at 10 inches. Boy, that's pretty close right there, 10 inches. Um, both front and back um, and on both sides before we tighten them down and set the skateboard on there. I still want to trim this here, this here, round this here, round this here. Um, probably this will be the last video on the build of this one. I'm very happy with version 2. Um, boy, it's way off. Uh, very happy with version two. Uh, of course, it will be still have to be painted and uh, primed, painted, finished. You guys will see it on the car, I'm sure, at another time. Um, 
but this will finish the build. Prototype 1 is still around. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do with Prototype 1. I can't say that I would get rid of it anytime soon. It could just sit around for all I know right now. So there's 10 there. And 10 there. And double check 10 there. Perfect. Put the skateboard up there. I didn't give her a little. I like the uh, lower profile look. Um, still gonna trim, like I said, those. Um, I will come up with some sort of latch, but I don't want it to be more difficult than a bungee cord, because then what's the point? I'll just use a bungee cord if it's more difficult than a bungee cord, right? Like, what, what would be the point? We'll just use a bungee cord if it's more difficult than a bungee cord. Skateboard. We're going to move these out a little bit. Maybe to like... I'm going to try and put them right on the edge right there. Right on the edge there's a uh, bracket or a uh, tie down point on the rack right there. Or this side, do the same thing. The reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to get the board to kind of snap in there a little bit better. Prototypes, like nobody gets it right. I mean, maybe some of you get it right the first time, but for sure I'm not the guy who gets it right the first time. Um, let's try that. Let's try that and see how it goes. What do you guys think? Snap the board in right there. That's perfect. And for safety, just put the bungee cord on there. That's perfect. Nobody's touching nothing. We could trim those down to just about hardly anything. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So there's the lower profile stance. There's the board, probably for the most part, centered on the car. And uh, that's going to take care of version 2 with a couple of little trim pieces. Um, we'll keep you guys updated on the paint and the trimming of this in the next couple of videos. Uh, whatever else we are um, coming up with um, as we move along. But that's going to do it for this one. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with me here at the VW Nut 1967 channel. And uh, we will see you guys in a couple of days.